Welcome, stargazers. Could you at any point trust it? Picture a heavenly occasion so monstrous that it creates shaded areas on earth. Apparent indeed, even out so everyone can see. That is the scene we may be near, the precarious edge of seeing in the Orion heavenly body. The star Betelgeuse is acting strangely, indicating an approaching cosmic explosion blast that will illuminate our sky more than ever. However, when will Betelgeuse go cosmic explosion, and what will it look like as indicated by researchers? What secrets could this heavenly occasion uncover? Go along with us as we plunge deep into the subtleties of what's actually the deal with Betelgeuse and the effect it could have on the planet and maybe for the whole planetary group. Found roughly 650 light years from Earth in the heavenly body Orion, Betelgeuse isn't simply any normal star. It's a red supergiant, perhaps one of the most brilliant stars known to us, sparkling with a brilliance north of 100,000 times that of our sun. However, for what reason does this red giant matter to such an extent to us? Well, Betelgeuse sticks out for its splendor as well as for its history and importance in human culture. Named after the Arabic expression Yad Alza, which means the hand of Orion, Betelgeuse has been noticed and recorded by ancient human civilizations for hundreds of years. It has been a guide for voyagers and a mark of marvel for stargazers, with its ruddy shade distinguishing it from different stars in the Orion heavenly body. Might you at any point imagine a solitary star overshadowing our whole solar system? To give some point of view on the Kepler cosmic explosion, the sheer tremendousness of Betelgeuse if it replaced our sun, its edges would stretch out the whole way to Jupiter. How could a solitary star at any point accomplish such epic extents? At 10 million years old, it's much more youthful than our 5 billion year old sun. Anyway, Betelgeuse's monstrous size means it drinks its materials at a lot quicker speed, forecasting a more limited life expectancy than that of different stars. Now, the divine behemoth, traversing a volume sufficiently bigger to contain in excess of a billion of our suns, is approaching an incredible finish cycle. When stars of such extent reach their sundown years, they don't simply disappear. They make a dramatic exit a cosmic explosion blast that is beyond human cognizance with regards to its energy and brightness. Such an occasion has the potential to eclipse a whole world, creating shaded areas of brightness across immense infinite distances. The last time Earth saw a cosmic explosion blast this nearby was in 1964, sometime before the development of present-day telescopes. This occasion, known as the Kepler Cosmic Explosion, was the last cosmic explosion to be seen in our Milky Way with the unaided eye, staying noticeable for north of a year and a half. It was more brilliant than any other star in the night sky and, surprisingly, stayed noticeable during the day for quite some time. What secrets do these heavenly remnants uncover to us? Ancient records from different human civilizations, including Chinese and European cosmologists, reported the appearance of this new star. Intriguingly, what secrets do heavenly leftovers uncover? Remnants of this blast, in the structure of a growing flotsam and jetsam cloud, can in any case be noticed today with refined telescopes, giving us experiences into the vicious closures of monstrous stars. Generally, supernovae have been uncommon for eyewitnesses on Earth, yet imagine for a second a heavenly explosion so intense that it rivals the splendor of a full moon, creating shaded areas on Earth around evening time and being noticeable during daylight. The radiation from such an occasion would charge our atmosphere, possibly influencing satellite tasks and perhaps even the environment. Betelgeuse, with its capricious diminishing patterns, suggests it very well may be preparing for just such a stupendous scene. Might we at some point be on the edge of seeing one of the universe's most sensational occasions? Seconds ago, space experts made a frightening disclosure. Between October 2019 and mid-2023, Betelgeuse went through an astounding change that drew the consideration of stargazers and devotees. Overall known as the Great Diminishing, the star's brilliance, which had been predictable for quite a long time, began to decline altogether. This unexpected change was obvious to such an extent that even relaxed stargazers saw it while contrasting Betelgeuse to different stars in the Orion star grouping. This implies that we're not only hundreds of years from seeing its cosmic explosion blast, but maybe just many years or even less. By April 2023, astronomical observations revealed that Betelgeuse had gotten back to its normal radiance levels, 
driving quite a large number to trust that the time of inconsistency had finished. In an amazing turn, the following months saw Beetlejuice's brilliance intensifying by a surprising half. Such notable vacillations, while normal for variable stars, were strange for a star like Betelgeuse, which had predominantly shown unsurprising glow cycles. The abrupt and extraordinary flood in its brilliance pushed the star back into the spotlight. For what reason did Betelgeuse toss a divine curve, igniting conversations about its short-term fate? In any case, what caused this unexpected change in brilliance? For what reason did Betelgeuse, one of the most familiar stars in our night sky, suddenly toss a heavenly curve? Stars are not simply shimmering dots in our night sky. They are dynamic substances with life cycles, activities, and secrets of their own. For some divine bodies, occasional splendor varieties can be expected, much the same as the beat of Earth's seasons. Throughout its heavenly lifetime, Betelgeuse has kept a genuinely predictable 400-day radiance cycle. Anyway, with the great diminishing, it appeared to challenge its laid-out conduct, testing our cognizance of the heavenly peculiarities above. Now, you may be pondering, are we very nearly a heavenly disclosure? While the specific explanations behind Betelgeuse's anomalies are still under examination, a convincing hypothesis has arisen. This hypothesis, zeroing in on heavenly movement and mass ejection, presents an interesting situation. Picture Betelgeuse as an epic divine spring of gushing lava, unobtrusively emitting and removing a tremendous amount of its matter into space. Past perceptions from the Hubble Space Telescope uncovered that Betelgeuse had recently removed an enormous sum of its surface material into the universe. This removal, a stupendous occasion, was 400 billion times the mass regularly delivered during comparable solar phenomena, identical to a few times the mass of our moon. Such occasions can bring about the arrangement of a thick residue cloud around the star, impacting its obvious brilliance and briefly making it seriously challenging to notice. Then, as this residue began to scatter or was driven away by the power of the star's radiation pressure, the cover lifted. This could explain its ensuing revisitation of ordinary splendor levels. One way or another, these new occasions recommend a star that is not wrapped up in amazing us. Many theorize that Betelgeuse may be moving toward the twilight of its life. What is a cosmic explosion? A cosmic explosion is an astounding explosion of energy that can dominate a whole universe immediately. This peculiarity happens when there is a sudden change in the star's center. Such changes can emerge if a star absorbs too much matter from an adjoining star, or for Betelgeuse's situation, it very well may be from the depletion of its atomic fuel, which overflows its mass into the center, setting the stage for a calamitous breakdown. Yet, what drives an enormous star like Betelgeuse to its end? Brought into the world from the gravitational breakdown of gas within atomic mists, stars like Betelgeuse launch their process by consuming hydrogen in their cores. This underlying stage, known as the principal arrangement stage, endures for a long period of time and forms the spine of a star's life. As a star runs out of hydrogen, they advance, embracing new energy sources. In the case of Betelgeuse, as the hydrogen drains, it begins to consume helium, prompting the development of carbon and oxygen. This change from the principal arrangement stage to the helium-consuming stage is set apart by the star's venture into a red giant. With time, as helium reserves reduce, the star undergoes further development and shifts into other consuming stages, each described by the combination of increasingly heavier components. The greater the star, the faster these advances happen, given the tremendous gravitational tensions at play. Then comes the peak when iron begins forming at the center. Unlike lighter components, iron does not release energy when combined, so the energy produced isn't sufficient to resist the star's own crushing gravity. The star inflates in size and makes a collapse, followed by a huge rebound effect, resulting in the explosive power of a cosmic explosion. So, is Betelgeuse near the very edge of an explosive end or just being? Ongoing research by Japan's Tohoku University suggests that the star may be in its carbon-consuming stage at the moment. Lead specialist Haydock believes that the core could implode in a couple of years. Is Betelgeuse near the precarious edge of an unstable end? After its carbon. Reserves evaporate, however, not all researchers agree. 
contrasting studies from Hungary's Konkali Observatory estimate that Betelgeuse is still in the earlier helium-consuming stage. The one thing that researchers do settle on, paying little heed to these discussions, is that Betelgeuse is scheduled to turn into the Milky Way's next cosmic explosion. Yet nailing down the timing of this occasion remains an inestimable guessing game, with wagers going from only many years to 100,000 years. Amidst these logical debates about Betelgeuse's destiny, one reality remains unchallenged, the very nature of our perceptions. When we gaze toward the brilliant territory, there's an unpretentious oddity we often disregard. This mystery is established in the actual idea of time and light in our huge universe. Stars and divine bodies are so far off that their light carves out opportunity to arrive at our eyes. For example, the speed of light, while being a bewildering 186,282 meters per second, still has its constraints. Subsequently, the light from remote stars and universes takes as much time as is needed to navigate the immensity of space before it graces our sight. Looking at Betelgeuse, you're really seeing a scene from 650 years in the past. To put that in context, when this light set out on its excursion toward Earth, the Renaissance was just unfolding, and wayfarers like Marco Polo were making their mark in history. Each perception we make of Betelgeuse is like looking through an infinite time capsule, conceding us insights into its far-off past. If for contention's purpose Betelgeuse had already detonated in a grand cosmic explosion, we'd remain unaware for an additional 650 years. So, while we examine and foresee its approaching cosmic explosion somewhere out in the tremendous universe, this amazing occasion may have proactively unfurled. We're simply waiting for it to navigate reality until it arrives at our eager telescopes. The ongoing disclosures around Betelgeuse have prompted intense conversations in the cosmic community, with correlations being drawn to another thrilling disclosure from recently, SN 2023X. This as-of-late noticed cosmic explosion, happening in a universe adjoining the Milky Way, helped many to remember the intriguing elements and eccentric nature of the universe. SN 2023X was unique in its own right, found a few million light-years away. It exhibited an extraordinary presentation of brightness that quickly surpassed its host world. Yet, what made it especially fascinating to researchers and casual spectators alike was its uncanny likeness to what numerous anticipate will be the destiny of Betelgeuse. The range, power, and outcome of the blast offered a tempting brief look into the cycles that these gigantic stars go through as they approach the finish of their life cycles. For some, SN 2023X served as a preview of if and when Betelgeuse meets its hazardous destiny. The sequencing of occasions might look like what was seen with SN 2023X. Also, the association between these two heavenly occasions highlights a more extensive subject about the interconnectedness of our universe. Whether it's an adjoining star like Betelgeuse or a far-off cosmic explosion such as SN 2023X, these enormous peculiarities help us to remember the dynamic and evolving nature of space. Beyond the unmistakable and logical, the blast would have significant consequences for human culture. The sky, noticed and worshipped for centuries, would change, prompting reflections on fleetingness, the tremendous sizes of infinite time, and our position in the universe. Such vast miracles help us to remember the ephemerality of existence and our timeless journey to grasp the extraordinary. As we contemplate the potential cosmic explosion of Betelgeuse, it's fundamental to figure out the more extensive ramifications of such an occasion on our grandiose neighborhood. When Betelgeuse finally reaches its unstable end, it could impact not just our immediate surroundings in the Milky Way but additionally the dynamics of the interstellar medium. The shock waves produced by the cosmic explosion will create tremendous districts of ionized gas, enriching the surrounding space with heavier components formed during the star's life cycle. This interaction plays a vital role in the grandiose pattern of matter, fostering new stars and planets with the essential elements for life. Additionally, the light from the approaching blast could act as a wizard research laboratory for cosmologists. Noticing the light curve and spectral features of the cosmic explosion could provide phenomenal insights into the life and death of massive stars. Every cosmic explosion offers a great look into the physical processes at play, revealing how energy is conveyed in such destructive occasions. By concentrating on these peculiarities, researchers can refine their models of heavenly advancement, adding to our comprehension of the universe's life cycle.
notwithstanding logical progressions, a cosmic explosion can have social repercussions. By and large, significant galactic occasions have affected craftsmanship, writing, and philosophy. The splendid appearance of Betelgeuse would probably inspire another flood of creative expression and reflection. Individuals across the globe would look at the night sky, considering their place in the universe. This occasion could encourage a restored interest in space science and science, similar to the interest that emerged during the Renaissance when heavenly perceptions began to reshape how we might interpret the universe. From a practical outlook, the impacts of a cosmic explosion could stretch out to innovation. Increased radiation levels from such a blast could present challenges for satellite communications and navigation systems. These ramifications would require headways in protecting and defensive innovations, further pushing the limits of engineering in space exploration. As we keep on depending all the more vigorously on innovation, grasping these astronomical occasions becomes vital for mitigating their effects on our regular routines. The cosmic explosion could likewise modify our perspective on time itself. The transient nature of such an occasion reminds us that even the most enormous divine bodies are not timeless. This acknowledgement may incite philosophical conversations about existence and the transient idea of life. The universe works on timescales that dwarf human existence, yet we find significance in our short moments under the stars.